we're going to do another real quick uh, every mechanic should know uh, video here in our series and what we're doing is we're getting ready to install this muffler on our uh, RM65 a couple o-rings here real common on these two strokes we're going to replace those and some but not all and I, I want to say most have a gasket that goes between here and the cylinder head and that's what we're really going to be focusing on is this gasket we're going to be getting detailed and we're going to be kind of looking at a uh, uh, a thought or a tip that I was taught years ago that we can't find in a service manual so I want to just start with that we're gonna look at the service manual here do you need a light on that and you can see here where it just simply says remove the exhaust gasket okay then if we go down here in installation it talks about install the springs holding the exhaust pipe to their fixed hooks so there's a little bit of info there and that's it just talks it doesn't say anything about the gasket again so is this very easy to overlook you think Leah yes yeah it sure is so let's go look at the vehicle here and so like I said we're talking about installing this we know we're gonna put o-rings on that but what I want to point out for right now is that this gasket is going in this cylinder head right here you want to come around this side maybe Okay, so that's that's what we're doing. We've dug our old one out. But here's what I want you to notice about this. We'll come back up here. Here's a close-up of both sides of that gasket. The one to the right clearly has a seam on it. You gotta think about what's happening here in this exhaust system is this gasket's getting sandwiched and we don't want it to leak. Well, if you think about the exhaust flows coming out of the cylinder head and into the pipe and on out, so that means the pressure is going this way. So my example here is I always put this flat side facing in and the copper side here is going to compress. And the reason for that is, is that it, as the exhaust is escaping out the engine, it's going to go right on by and out the pipe. If I do this way, what can happen sometimes, you guys have seen this when you've taken an engine apart where the exhaust ga gasket is quote unquote blown, that exhaust gas will grab that seam and it'll rip the gasket out, basically dragging out. If you want to know how a copper gasket quote unquote blows, it's just simply uh, from having this in in that direction, there's a lot better chance of that. Things coming loose, the spring tension, things like that can aid in that, but this just has got to make sense to most people here that if I go this direction, flat slide in, it's, it has nothing but to hit it, seal, and go out. Going this way allows it to want to rip itself out of there. Not in the service manual. This is something that is a real small attention to detail. And we'll say this too, we do a lot of things around here where we talk about what's the, you know, maybe the best way to do it. It's not necessarily a mandatory way. If this was a big deal, the service manual would definitely be specifically saying that. But I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to think about how many times do the, the manufacturers expect mechanics to just know this. They should know how gaskets seal and work and fit. So that's your tip for today on copper exhaust gaskets.